Hello everyone, welcome back to the conservatory here at Rathbone Manor. Uh, today I'm going to be taking another look at this uh, Stanley Rolling Workshop here that I picked up from the car boot sale a few weeks ago. Cost me £15. Um, it is a little grubby here and there. You can see there's like a bit of rust going on in there look. And it's even a bit in the bottom of the box. I think there's a bit in one of the drawers as well. He said, probably not then. Um, it's a bit sort of um, grubby and just a little bit on, on top and all around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to get some warm water and a drop of no-nonsense heavy-duty degreaser and a brush and we'll see if we can scrub it down a bit. I'm also going to remove this rather scruffy old label. It's been on there since it was new. Don't need that anymore. That'll be going into the bin a little later on. I also know how old this thing is, but we'll discuss that later on. So let's begin by giving it a scrub, shall we? Okay then guys, so here we are the following morning, the um, rolling workshop has uh, dried out overnight and I've reassembled it as you can see. Um, I did actually go to the car boot sale this morning but it was uh, really quite disappointing in that I was only able to get a few bits for Mrs Rathbone, one of them being this little small bucket here which is like a little put, she will use it as a plant anyway to put her um, some plants in I guess and she quite likes it so that's a good thing then so we did all right there uh, the other thing I got was a um, this here little serving spoon although it's not that little as you can probably see it's not that little uh, she wanted a, a backup one so I managed to find this for a pound and this little fella was 50 pence and I managed to get her this cactus in Tesco's yesterday so she's quite happy with that okay so let's take a look at a few features of the uh, Stanley Rolling Workshop. As you can see I've removed the sticker because I didn't like that. It was looking untidy. We've got uh, some drawers and we've got this like little bin thing here which I'm probably going to put my uh, Black & Decker drill into. Drawers are quite sizeable. Um, one or two of them are a bit sticky as you can see. Keeps wanting to roll around. So there we go. It's all stuck there. There we are. So they're alright aren't they? And then we have a uh, toolbox at the top. That's all come out quite nicely. Look, didn't get the lid to stay open. Just clean it up nicely. Quite nice and clean inside. And if we move around the back, we have this adjustable handle here. And basically, you uh, you can see it probably says I don't know if you can see that, but it says. Uh, push on there so just push this in and it sort of like um, pushes the little thing in and we can uh, and then fold the handle out actually the other day I managed to trap my thumb up inside this mechanism and it's uh, plastic is quite sharp and it took a considerable chunk of skin off my thumb and made it bleed a bit so basically you just give it a push like so and pull the handle and it comes up into uh, this position as you can see here so you can uh, pull it around if I remember correctly yesterday I said this little fella was 19 years old um, how do I know this? well there are uh, little stampings on um, certain parts I've got it on here somewhere, yeah there we go just here for instance okay so we can see here we've got uh, some years from 1998 up to 2003 
and you can see there also 2003 it goes along to what looks like March so it's March 2003 and uh, all of the parts are marked in this way and it might be that the toolbox is a year older look, got 2002 on the toolbox March again the drawers have a slightly different mark on we can see there's a 03 there and 4 looks like to me so a little, little bit later for the draw here this draw is slightly different again 2002 and uh, November so it's been assembled from uh, different parts from like a year or so so call it sort of like 19, 20 years old and it's uh, in quite good nick I think for how old it is, I mean it's got a few dings and scratches on it it's got a few dings in there a scratch on the corner so it's obviously been knocked over at some point but other than that I think it's in uh, quite good condition um, I paid £15 for it this part of the toolbox has got like a um, like a ruler marked in it and it's set at a, an angle as you can see there and I reckon you could probably put a bit of a, a bit of wood in there and hold it fairly well for uh, like sawing it or whatever I'd imagine looks like you could do that and we have some nice wide uh, sporty wheels on it they're quite nice little rubber tires plastic rim that's, that's quite nice it rolls around quite nicely anyway I suppose I'm gonna have to make a decision on what is going to go where in here because I've got a, quite an overflow of uh, especially pliers and other tools I mean I, I could probably get some screwdrivers in the top here uh, I don't know what's going to go in there just yet and possibly I might be able to get some uh, pliers and what have you in these drawers I know for one thing that's going to go in there my Black & Decker drill this little fellow here I've had it for quite some time now um, 30 years probably quite like this one oh yeah well that goes in there quite nicely doesn't it fits in there a treat actually brilliant as you can see the top of my toolbox is very untidy um, so I've got quite a few of these electrical screwdrivers so I think uh, and this thing here I think they're going to be going in there for a start Trying to keep the lid of the toolbox open on this is a bit of a pain. It just does not want to stay open as you can see. And I think it keeps resting against the handle round the back. So I might have to take that off for a minute. Okay, there we go, that's off. Now hopefully, oh yeah there we go, that's better. Which means now we can start putting stuff into the top of the toolbox here. I don't know what's going to go underneath the uh, tray here but um, I'm sure that's something I can sort out. A few more stubby screwdrivers to go in here. That thing as well. I think that maybe can go in the bottom with a few other bits and pieces. Let's uh, see if we can get some of these screw uh, pliers overflow in here shall we. Okay, so I found this lot. There's some very nice little um, um, what are these? Sandvix. Got some little Sandvik pliers here. I've uh, got this nice little vintage Wilkinson's long nose pliers here. I've cleaned those up, they're quite nice. And I've got some little cutters as well. I also found um, these in the toolbox up there. So these are like a cheap pair of Chinese pliers I picked up some years ago. So they can all go in one of the drawers. Let's see how we get on. Just about. Okay, and what about this big pair? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have to remove one of these dividers out, I think. Can we get it out? Ah. Not in. Yeah, there they go, they've gone in. And then of course I've got all this lot here, including these great big long Nielsen. See, look at those. Ridiculously long of those. <coughs> they should be able to go in the... Um, main partition of the toolbox so let's give that a go yeah. pliers in first the Lyman pliers there we go and these here two are going in there 
I've probably got some other nice um, slip joints that can go that can go in here as well. Okay, so I can see this toolbox getting weighed down quite a bit. Uh, what we're going to do with this lot then? Okay, so we've got some. I um, can't think what make these are now. But anyway, they can go in there. Got some Wilkinson pliers here from the GPO. I believe this are also uh, the same brand, but with slightly different handles. Maybe by the GPO as well. I've got some uh, Boker, nice Boker lineman pliers, they can go in there. And I've got two largish, I think these are 8 inch slip joints, this one's a Kreiter, and this one's a Proto look, so uh, they can go in there nicely too. Some slightly smaller slip joints here. These two here, Japanese, will they fit in there? I think they will. There we go. What about these? These are Indian, so these are like cheap ones made in India. Um, yeah, oh, they've got in there quite nicely too. Let's move down to the uh, larger bottom drawer here. Because uh, we've got quite a few more slip joints, etc. That can go in there. I've uh, got these um, nut pliers here, like those. They can go in there too. Some more, probably Japanese slip joints here. They can go in there too. Oh, I've got this nice. Um, Lindstrom piano wire pliers. In there they go. Utica 1060s. In they go two uh, Nissan motor slip joints into the slip joint jaw. Got um, Crescent Tool 1060s, so they can go in there too. Alrighty then, so that's made a start. Rolling workshop here. We've got uh, some electronic stuff or electrical stuff in the top here. Screwdrivers, some very nice um, Klein tools here. Look, hopefully, you can see those. They're nice. Pick those up the other week. So they're all in there. We've got some of the larger pliers in the top. Uh, moving down, We've got some uh, slip joints, etc. Smaller pliers. Nothing in there yet. So I'll have to buy something to go in there. We've got some more plies in there. And finally down the bottom, my old drill. So really all that remains to be done now is to actually find a place in my garage, in my workshop, for this to go in. Um, I'm going to have uh, some time off soon from work. Uh, we're going to tidy the garage and workshop out a bit so there should be a space arriving for this at some point or another, but uh, as you can see we're starting to fill it up quite nicely now. So that's uh, taken a great load off of my um, main toolbox in there. Uh, as you can see there's space for new purchases, so that's cool. Loads of space for pliers in there. That's pretty neat. And uh, there's plenty of room down here to get something else in too. I don't know what else is going to go in there yet, but uh, yeah. Alright then guys, well I uh, hope you enjoyed popping over, taking a look at the uh, Stanley Rolling Workshop that I picked up for £15 from the car boot sale the other week. Um, we're beginning to fill it up now, so that's cool. Um, don't forget, you can join me on Instagram. Uh, if you're not already done so, it would help if you were to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed it, please feel, uh, feel free to... Uh, Give it an uptick. Um, and you can also share the video with your friends as well. Uh, as I say, uh, this week's car boot sale was very disappointing. No tools available that I could see that I really wanted or anything any good. And I'm not buying anything just for the sake of buying it. But um, next week we have the Auto Jumble. So I hope you'll join me next Sunday. And I, I'm hoping to be able to get some uh, decent tools next week. So, uh, Alrighty guys, well thanks for taking a look at the um, Stanley Rolling Workshop which we know is around about 20 or 19 years old so and it's still in very good condition too so that's good, not bad at all. Alright guys, I'm going to see if I can find somewhere for this to go in the workshop and I'll catch you another week. <coughs>